What's up guys, Chaz with Side Hustle Pros bringing you a tutorial video which I think can help a few people out. I'm gonna show you how to take new RAM and upgrade your MacBook Pro. So whether you are looking to buy old, used, maybe four parts laptops, specifically MacBook Pros, upgrade the RAM and the hard drive and then you can flip them for a profit on something like eBay, or you're just looking to make your personal machine a little bit quicker. This is a very cheap and easy way to do it and this literally will take you under five minutes. You're only gonna need a few things. One is a tiny screwdriver, which you'll see in the next clip. And of course, you're going to need your RAM. Now you'll see when we dive into this thing, the MacBook Pro has two RAM slots. So these are gonna be eight gigabytes each. We are doing a 16 gigabyte total upgrade today. Specifically, MacBook Pros of 2012 or older are going to be what you wanna focus on because 2013s and newer, everything is soldered down to the board. So you're not able to swap stuff out like the hard drive or the RAM. So if you wanna check out the RAM that I'm specifically using, you can check it out in the link below. But without further ado, let's dive then open this guy up and show you exactly how to upgrade your computer. All right, so the first thing that I'll show you on here is if you go to your little Apple icon about this Mac, this will show you all your computer information. So right here you can see we only have four gigs of memory inside of this one for the RAM. So if you click on the memory tab, there are two slots within this computer, which you're gonna see when we break it down. So what we have to upgrade is two different eight gigabyte sticks. So let's flip this over. First thing you wanna do is power your Mac off and we'll get to work. All right, so step one, you're just going to need a tiny little screwdriver. Step two, you're simply going to go around and undo the screws that are on the outside. Make sure you keep them with the ports that they go to. And one thing that really helps is if you get a magnetized version. As you guys can see, these are really, really small, so you do not want to lose these. All right, so once that's done, you are simply going to lift the case off. That is what the inside of your Mac will look like. And while you're in here, you can definitely see there's gonna be some dust buildup depending how long it's been since you took this case off. So if you have some compressed air, this is a game changer. So if this is your first time ripping apart a MacBook Pro, I'm gonna show you the basic components that are inside of here. You have two fans right here. So when you use that air compressor, it's really good to get inside of these fans. You have your optical drive, which is what your CD goes into. And you can actually swap out the optical drive for a second hard drive as well. And we'll do another tutorial on that. Next, we have our little square right here, which is your actual hard drive. And I highly recommend that you swap out your hard drive for an SSD. That's another tutorial we will do in a separate video. That alone is gonna increase the speed again on your computer. You have your giant battery right here, which you can see easily, just a little tab right here. You can swap a lot of this stuff out. Last but not least is going to be our RAM, which is what we're gonna work on today. So without further ado, here's the exact way that you do it. It is not complicated. You pull these two tabs out. First one pops up, rip this guy out. Second one, maybe a tiny bit more wedged in there because it's down at an angle. So just kind of wiggle back and forth until you get that popping off like that. There we go. So, and as you guys can see, this old one was a two gigabyte each one. So we had four gigabytes of RAM total. So what we're gonna do is ditch these guys. And we did get these two new ones right here, which are eight gigabytes each. So we'll have a total of 16 gigabytes of RAM. So now all we do is we take that first one on the bottom and you'll see where these little edges line up. You're gonna come down almost at an angle and push in and then you're gonna push down. And they have a nice little click that goes in there. Same thing with this second one. Come in at a little bit of an angle, slide it in, push down, and then pop these back into place on the sides. And if you guys wanna double check that they're in there all the way, cause it may not feel like it, just pop these off and you'll see it pop up right here. Push it down, locked into place. That is literally it. The RAM is now upgraded. So now we're just simply going to pop this back on here. Get your screws back in where you got them from. All 
So now that the case is back on, we're simply going to flip this guy back over, open her up, power on. And now we are going to turn the computer on. The first time might be a little bit slower. So what I actually do is I just turn this off and on a few times so it fully kind of resets itself. It's got to get used to the new RAM in the system. And what you're going to find is everything is going to be so much more quick on your computer. Once we are booted up, go ahead and log in as usual. There is going to be nothing that is actually different on your computer except for the speed. So now once you're logged in here, play around with your normal apps and everything that you usually use. And what you'll see is things should be opening up a lot quicker than usual. So if I just go in here and test out a few folders, this is one of the slowest computers I've ever used. It's a 2011, but this would literally take about 10 seconds just to pop open these folders. So I'm already seeing a difference in that. You can come up into your Apple about this Mac. Double check that it is showing 16 gigs of RAM now, as well as under memory should be two slots, eight gigabytes each. Now, like I said earlier, you will want to pair a RAM upgrade with an SSD hard drive upgrade, and this is going to be lightning quick. Even for 2011 or 2012, being 2019 right now, these are still gonna be amazing machines that you can do these upgrades for cheap and get it done. And that's it, my friends. If you wanna fix up an old laptop like this and you can flip it onto eBay or a local flip, if you wanna do this for your own personal computer, I highly recommend you do the SSD hard drive upgrade, which will be in a separate video, and on top of that, be sure you do your 16 gigabyte RAM upgrade, which typically you can find the new ones for under a hundred bucks. If you want to see the ones that I personally use and recommend, you can check out the link in the description below. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like these styles of videos of tutorials, we not only are going to be diving into more tech tutorials like this this year, we are actually going to be focusing a lot more on Amazon and eBay business as well. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. The little bell notification will tell you every time we go live, which we do a live weekly Q and a session here on the show. Or if you want to be notified every time we upload a video, check it out. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.